Say hello to the 2020 Hyundai Sonata and also say hello to Sofyan from everybody's favorite automotive YouTube channel, Redline Reviews. So if you haven't seen them already, be sure to check out their YouTube channel. They're not affiliated with Motor One in any way, but they're just friends of the website and we like keeping them around. Yeah. I thought today it'd be better to have two voices over one because we are driving a car that we have some opinions on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the 2020 Hyundai Sonata, this is what it looks like. And let's talk briefly about the design before we actually drive this thing around. Okay. You first. <laughs> um, so Hyundai calls it sensuous sportiness, which is a tongue twister. I messed it up constantly when I was trying to film. Um, I think it looks great from the front, from the side profile. It looks good, but the wheels, I think, are a little basic looking. They're too small. Uh, and the rear, uh, it's not my favorite angle. So going <laughs> portion by portion, it's an all-new platform, which mm -hmm. makes it lower wider and the wheelbase is longer as well and they said with this new platform that was the foundation for how they were able to design it and it looks completely different from the sonata that it replaces oh, yeah. i'll give them that um, the overhang is much shorter in the front the wheelbase is longer like i just said but the two elements that stick out pretty much more than anything else are the lighting elements the headlights and the tail lights this has these they're DRL daytime running lights that go around the lamp itself and then they connect into the trim pieces along the front hood and I don't think I've ever seen that before no that's definitely a first and what's cool about it is like when the lights are turned off they are blending into the silver like line that goes across the hood across the fender yeah so it's it's a really neat design element I mean the car looks nothing else like or looks like nothing else on the road and that's honestly. Mostly good with a little bit of bad as well. Looks are always subjective. To, yeah, to me it looks a little bit like a fish. A fish. I think a fish <laughs> is fair. But the grill is really wide and it, it gives it a wide presence and it's all blacked out too. Imagine if that thing was chrome. It would be <laughs> enormous. Um, let's go for a drive. Sure. It starts at $23,400, and that is the base SE trim. The one we're driving is the top of the line, fully loaded, limited. That's $33,300. So pricing is very comparable to Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, um, some of its main rivals. If anything, it undercuts those cars by a little bit. Um, there are two engines to pick from. The one we're driving right now is the optional engine, and it is a 1.6 turbo four-cylinder um, and that is good for 180 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque the standard engine oddly enough makes more horsepower than the optional engine the standard unit is a 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder and that is going to get you 191 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque how does the Sonata drive? Well, like let's pay it a couple of compliments first. There's some things that it does really well. The transmission is very smooth. It's better than any transmission that was in Sonata's prior. Mm -hmm. um, it feels really refined. The suspension and the ride quality in general are super good. Like this rides as nice as sort of an entry level luxury car. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, it's definitely got a, a ride quality that's tuned more toward comfort, which I think is fine. I mean, it's sporty looking on the outside and it handles fine, um, but it's definitely got that softer ride that most people are probably looking for in this segment. It's probably why Hyundai decided to go with a smaller wheel and tire package. And I don't have any problem with this engine. I mean, once it wakes up, it goes. Yeah. I mean, it, the both engines offer south of 200 horsepower, so you know it's not going to light your hair on fire. Mm -hmm. But I think it's totally adequate enough for what it needs to be in the class of vehicle that it serves. Yeah, I mean, it's also a really smooth engine. Like Hyundai's, just like you drive a Hyundai from five years ago, and it had a very thrashy sounding engine, and now they've really done a lot. Because even though this 1.6, we've seen it in like the old Sonata, that they say it's been completely redesigned internally new parts and then it has a world first feature they're calling continuously variable valve duration <laughs> tongue twister cvvd which i'm not going to try to explain what it does but hyundai says it's a world first and they have 100 patents on it apparently well that's a lot of patents yes, that <laughs> that's a lot too of many patents as a matter of fact <laughs> um the real world stuff is that the mpg kind of stays the same mm -hmm. from where it was which 2736 is still really good and it uses regular yeah. gas um most people are going to you know, easily get probably 30 mpg. Inside you get a standard 8 inch touchscreen unit, but you can also opt for the bigger 10.2 inch unit. And that looks great. I mean, it stands out compared to things like the Camry, the Accord, the same cars we've already been talking about. Um, it's pretty easy to work with. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto comes standard with either touchscreen and you can opt for this 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster, which is right in front of me. And 
there's some things that come with that. There's cameras in the mirrors, so when you put on one of your turn signals, it will show you that side of the car. Um, so there's some really thoughtful technology that comes standard in this car, and then some good options add on top of it. Yeah, I mean, this setup in this Limited kind of reminds me of, like, Mercedes a little bit with the two yeah. wide screens. I mean, they're not quite as seamless as what Mercedes does, but, I mean, this is two inches larger than what you can get in a Accord, Camry, and Altima, so... I mean, Hyundai, Hyundai is really bringing in the technology. I mean, I said this interior has the luxury feel of a Mazda 6, but with a much better infotainment system. Yeah, and that's fair. I mean, the leather feels as nice as the Mazda 6, and that's a compliment. I mean, the wheel that I'm holding right now, really nicely wrapped. Some of the materials in here are great choices. The seats are super comfy as well. Um, when it comes to safety equipment, there's a good bit standard. You get emergency autonomous braking that comes standard, adaptive cruise control comes standard. They do make you pay for some of the good stuff. So blind spot monitoring, um, rear cross traffic alerts, some of the things that you definitely want, you have to opt into, but it doesn't come at a price point that's too high. Right, yeah, so Hyundai wants you to basically step up to the SEL for two grand more. So $25,000, you get the cross traffic alert, blind spot, push button start, uh, and heated front seats. So it's kind of a good deal for 25 grand. I feel like that's what most people spend family sitting like this around yeah absolutely the question to end this video is would you buy this car over the things that it competes against so the Camry the Accord uh, the Passat the Altima mm -hmm. so I would definitely buy this over the Altima um, I would probably get it over a Camry too um, just because I like the turbo engine and the 8-speed in this better than the base engine in the Camry uh, I also like the interior of this the Accord is a tough tough decision to make because the Accord is, is for me the benchmark. The Mazda 6 also is a good choice but the yeah. Mazda's infotainment system really holds it back uh, and plus you have to get the turbo engine to make you know make it nice. But I would say absolutely loaded that this offers the most bang for the buck. You know it does because at 34,000 with so, destination. Yeah, 34 just about. Um, this is a couple grand cheaper than the competition. Now granted you know the Accord Touring with the 2 liter has way more power and it's going to be 36 grand. So it's more money, but you get more power. A Camry V6 is like almost 40 grand loaded, which is insane. So yeah. you kind of get a lot of value here. But even though this doesn't have like six cylinder power or you know two liter turbo power, it has enough power for most people. So as I mentioned earlier, the 2020 Hyundai Sonata starts at $23,400. And then the fully loaded one that we drove today, the Limited starts at 33,300 before destination. And they're already on sale. So you can go out and test drive one today. Thanks for watching, everybody.